St. Cloud singer Mandy Harvey has astounded the America's Got Talent judges and audience a couple of times so far this season. The deaf performer could do it again when the NBC contest starts its semi-finals next week. Central Florida is well represented this year. Orlando comedian Preacher Lawson has made it to the semi-finals as well. He and Harvey will perform Tuesday, and results will be announced Wednesday. The finals will air September 19, and the winner will be named September 20. In June, Judge Simon Cowell gave Harvey, 29, his golden buzzer or advanced her to the live broadcasts. She had performed Try, a song she wrote, and Cowell called the performance one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Harvey lost her hearing when she was 18 because of a connective tissue disorder. She left music in May 2007 and DIDNT singer Try to Sing until the fall of 2008. In a live show August 22, she delivered Mara's song, which she had written for a cousin's wedding. Cowell said her performance was stunning, and Judge Melby called the singer a miracle worker. I talked to her in an email interview. Question what was the high point for you in the latest round? Answer seeing the entire audience giving me deaf applause was one of the coolest experiences of my LIFEQ. Mel B described you as a miracle worker. How do you see your performance? A. To sing without sound I'm mentally working really hard, so I try to focus on the song itself and the meaning. This song meant a lot to me because Mara is so dear to my heart. I'm just happy I'm having the opportunity to tell stories that are significant to MEQ. How would you describe the public's response to Mara's song? -a? Generally, people have been very positive about that song. I've been getting requests to sing it, especially from people at weddings and other special events. Q. Are we likely to hear more original music from you? A. Of course I would NT want it any other way this next round I'm singing another original song but not playing the ukulele. Instead, you'll be able to sign ASL American Sign Language while singing. Q. You've displayed incredible composure in a pressure-filled forum. What's your secret? A. Ha 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 well, thank you I have faced and gone through my biggest fear, which was losing my hearing, so what's the worst that can happen they don't like my voice or the song I can survive that. What's your reaction to the taped packages before your performances? A. I want to focus on the positive. I don't see myself as a sob story. In fact, quite the opposite. And, it's a little strange seeing yourself on TV. Q. Do you have any message for your fans in Central Florida? A. I really miss being home so I'm really thankful for everyone reaching out. It makes me feel like, in some ways, I'm there with you and you are here with me at the same time. Thank you for encouraging me every step of the way. Q. What has America's Got Talent done for your career so far? A. It's opened a world of possibilities for me, and I'm thrilled to dive in right now I'm focused on the semi-finals September 5th. I'll focus on everything else after this is over. Ha ha dot bodka at orlandosentinel.com and 4,074,205,756. Caption 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 Lisa Canny, an acclaimed Harperston banjo player from County Mayo, Ireland, talks about her band's eclectic mix of Irish traditional, hip-hop and R.B. Wednesday, August 30, 2017, at the 6th Annual Great Irish Hooli, which kicks off Friday at Raglan Road Irish Pub, at Disney Springs. Joe Burbank Orlando Sentinel Caption Caption